My name is Brandon Dawson Jarvis. I started an initiative called Growth Campus, which was birthed a couple of years ago when I was dealing with mental health issues. At the time, someone suggested I try yoga. And with really no expectations at all, but nothing to lose, I did. And it was transformational in helping me step out of that darkness. I was able to attend sessions through work free of charge, but had it been under different circumstances, I probably would have not tried yoga just because I wouldn't have known what to expect or even understand that it would have had this much of an impact on me personally. My goal was to make yoga accessible to everyone and also to remove some of the stereotypes around yoga. And that's how Grove Campus was born. So that encouraged me to bring yoga to anyone who might be interested in trying it, but might not be able to afford it financially. There's something amazing with knowing that only good will come out of the action you take now. By getting on their mats, not only do people take care of their mental and physical health, but they also use that time and energy to helping a complete stranger. Their selfless decision creates a ripple effect that can only shift the future in a positive way. Fortunate, I feel very fortunate that, uh, that I am in a position to be able to give back. Growing up, it was uh, it was always kind of hard having to worry about um, where the next meal would be coming from, or if I would be able to get uh, school supplies by the time I would need it. And then you always feel pressure uh, when you don't get it. You know I mean? like, so I'd rather nobody else really have to go through that. Bonjour, je m'appelle Monsieur Frédéric. Je suis enseignante dans une classe d'accueil au primaire. Les élèves ont 10 ans et euh, ils sont en niveau intermédiaire. J'ai de, des élèves de beaucoup de pays différents. J'ai 15 élèves okay. et je pourrais dire qu'ils viennent de 10 pays différents. Beaucoup de pays d'Asie, des pays d'Afrique. Euh, C'est très difficile pour eux d'arriver au Canada. Ils doivent trouver un appartement qui n'est pas trop cher. Ensuite, ils doivent trouver une auto, des fois ils n'ont pas d'auto, ça coûte cher, ils doivent trouver un emploi. Mais les fournitures scolaires qu'on a reçues, c'est très bien parce que justement, ça équipe tous les élèves et ça les met au même niveau. Il n'y a pas un élève qui va manquer quelque chose pendant que d'autres élèves ont quelque chose. Et ça donne une chance à tout le monde. Et c'est juste, c'est juste positif. L'école est la Mosaïque, c'est près de 650 élèves. Euh, répartis dans plusieurs classes, dont 11 classes d'accueil primaire, 4 classes d'accueil préscolaire. Ça, c'est des maternelles. Et le reste de l'école, c'est des élèves de première à sixième année. Mais maternelle à sixième année, puis c'est du post-accueil. C'est des élèves qui parlent des fois trois, quatre langues. Notre but, nous, c'est vraiment d'apprendre aux enfants à parler français. Kids know, they feel they're not, uh, they're not as naive as uh parents sometimes would think or maybe even like them to be um, they're very aware of what's going on so to kind of help people to relieve uh, that household tension and uh, especially the, the school that we're going to there's a lot of uh, new arrivals a lot of people coming uh, to Canada from other countries so a lot of refugees and stuff like that so already on top of having to deal with um, leaving your country not coming to a new place, not knowing your way around, um, maybe difficulty with finding work because um, you don't speak the language or your, your papers are not recognized here. Uh, so on top of all of that, you have to worry about uh, something as simple as my school supplies. I think it's uh, unfortunate and, and like I said, I for sure cannot and will not take 
all of the credit for uh, this. Um, there were several people uh, who came in week in, week out uh, to get on their mats, to do yoga. And by their energy um, and their time, um, were able to kind of put this whole process in motion. So a huge thank you to everybody who came out, whether it was once, twice. Um, it's, uh, it's super appreciated. I know they don't get to see the, or experience firsthand the back end of this, but um, super, super grateful for uh, each and every one of you. All I am, nothing feels bad.